Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and it is Friday. And as soon as I get done making this video, I'm going to take one of my sons to hit baseballs to finally get his baseball hitting for this week out of the way. It'll be his third time hitting this week. And it, you know, a lot of you probably haven't heard, but most of you have. One thing I have done with my kids is from the time my 14 year old was seven, I have hit, he's hit two buckets of balls three days a week, year round, since he turned seven years old. And my youngest started when he was five. You will see these guys pop up somewhere um, on TV, I'm sure, at some point with this baseball thing. If they don't, I have completely failed. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure with that kind of um, persistence, I think that they'll go somewhere. Um, but that's what I'm doing after this video. Now, I wanted to show you this. This is an Ian Northing uh, tweet. And he's copied me in on it. The IRS is offering a $625,000 bounty to anyone who can break Monero and Lightning. I don't know what, I, did, I didn't go into the article, but the bounty is what I'm interested in talking about. I've said for a long time, and I've been told by people who would probably know, and that is that if you were going to create one, one digital asset intentional, to intentionally make people think it's untrackable, and you were the government, it would be Monero. That way you would suck up all of the criminal money, anybody doing drug dealing or terrorism, you would suck that money up. And then one day they would realize it was trackable after all. Now, what this is, is this is either the government, um, the government really trying to track it, or this is the government really trying to make it look like they're trying to figure out how to track this. I tend to believe that this is um, a bounty that's designed to make people um, make people think the government doesn't have their arms around this. Okay, enough of that. Um, Coin. I was on Coin Telegraph's Twitter feed, and I saw something I wanted to bring to your attention. This is their Twitter feed, and as you go down, it says promoted tweet Ripple. So Ripple is advertising on Twitter. Um, they're advertising their uh, different solutions in this in this case the on demand on demand liquidity um, they're, they're advertising which I find pretty interesting okay um, coindesk finance ministers from five European countries have called on the EU Commission to introduce tough regulations for stable coins um, so you can see this the regulation the regulatory clarity is being is, is coming to the surface in all around the world, U.S., everywhere, EU. Look at this. This is Coindesk as well. A digital euro can place the European Union on the cutting edge of innovation, says ECB President Christine Lagarde, who has been in the room with Ripple several times. Um, now, uh, look at this. Look at this tweet. This caught my attention. Sudan is a large country of more than 40 million people. Currency collapse is not an isolated phenomenon. It's a global one. Now Sudanese have to wage an economic revolution on top of their political revolution. Sudan declares state of economic emergency due, due to fall of currency. Now, let's look at this. There's some gold telegraph tweets that were good today. Bank of Canada governor. Bank of Canada plans to maintain extraordinary stimulus for as long as needed. Yes, money does grow on trees. <laughs> Laughable. And then Gold Telegraph, the United States is running its largest deficit since World War II. Since March, the Treasury has issued $3 trillion in new bonds since March. The Federal Reserve has bought $1.8 trillion of that. The financial system is broken. You couldn't say it any better than that. Now, I wanted to show you this. This is Alan Greenspan being asked about gold, um, and I'm not sure what this is from. I can't read that. It's kind of blurry. But listen to this. This is the guy that used to be the Federal Reserve Chairman. I just want to ask, though, um, one of the really interesting chapters in your book is about gold. And there's been a lot of media debate in the past about your views on gold. Um, you yourself have posed the question as to why would anyone want to buy this barbarous relic? Um, I don't know whether John Paulson is in the audience, but it's an interesting question. But 
do you think that gold is currently a good investment given what you're saying about the potential for turmoil? Yes. Do you put... <laughs> yes, I mean, like, uh, economists are usually perfect in equivocating. In this case, I, did, I didn't equivocate. Look, remember what, remember what we're looking at. Gold is a currency. It is still, by all evidences, the premier currency where no fiat currency, including the dollar, can match it. All right, so he says gold is a currency. Then this is from King Glenn, um, and this is Jim Rogers talking about um, gold. If you know a currency that is sound and stable and will survive all of this, please do not say it out loud. Please send me a private email because I'm looking for that currency. I think I think some uh, some ec economists would say that that currency would be gold. Would you agree with that? Um, gold is not a currency. Uh, I know that there are people who think it is. It's certainly at Kitco, but you cannot walk into McDonald's and buy a hamburger with gold. You cannot walk into Ginza in Tokyo and buy, you know, unagi with gold. So. Yes, I know that. Uh, yes, yes, I know about gold. I've owned gold for many years, decades. Gold is not a currency now. If you want to use it, go down. It's a store of value, just like Bitcoin, if it's anything, is a store of value. But in terms of a, a currency, a supranational currency, an intergalactic currency, XRP is the one. XRP has always been the one. It's not going to be a currency in the sense that you walk in and you um, pay with your XRP in a store. It's going to be a currency working on the back end. Now, um, or as Brad Garlinghouse says, behind the firewall. Um, then I am Legion put this tweet out. Best way to push people to a cashless digital economy with negative interest rates and high inflation. Destroy the trust in fiat. Watch this. That's how you destroy the trust in fiat, is you just print a bunch of it. All right. Um, then this was from Coindesk. Money reimagined. The great promise of cryptocurrencies and stable coins is that they could do for money what the internet did for communications. They could make the geography of finance obsolete, says Mike uh, Casey, ending money's distance trap. Um, and so... That's an interesting article. I went through it, but um, I'm not going to go through the whole, whole article right now. I just wanted to show you that. Now, this is the Bitcoin bus of Hong Kong. Here it comes right here. I just wanted you to see this. Um, you can see that, that uh, be your own bank. Just wanted to show you that. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, Elon, I ran across this Elon Musk tweet and, and a reply to it that I wanted to show you. Elon Musk says, we must pass the great filter now, when I read that, I was like, what in the world is the great filter? <laughs> but I'm going to show you what the great filter is. It was not where I was planning to go, but I'm going to show you what that is. But I, I was more interested in this reply. He's This guy, Jeff Hardy, says, Elon Musk, are you secretly part of taking the blockchain space with Starlink? Taking the block, Taking the blockchain to space with Starlink, the Starlink satellites I've been talking about. And then this lethal yogi who's not, who doesn't look like they're even in the, the uh, crypto space sa says, shh. <laughs> but what's interesting is everybody else that, I, or most of the people at the top here that ask questions, Elon Musk actually came in and answered their questions. There's one that was answered. Here's another one that was answered. Here's a third that was answered. But Elon Musk did not answer this one because... I would say secretly, I would say top secret is the key words there. He said secretly, but I would, I'd, I'd bet you a dollar to a donut that it, that this is a top secret thing. That they are literally putting nodes on those satellites. I, I, I firmly believe that at this point. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, I wanted to see what the great filter was. And I think that'll be a learning experience for you. The Great Filter, in context of Fermi Paradox, uh, is whatever prevents non-living matter from undergoing, I don't even know how to say that world, in time, exp to expanding lasting life as measured by this scale. 
The concept originates in Robert Hansen's argument that the failure to find extraterrestrial citizens in the observable universe implies possibility something is wrong with more, one or more of the arguments in various scientific dim, disciplines. This observation is called it ter, conceptualized in terms of a great filter, which acts to re reduce the great number of sites where intelligent life might arise to tiny number of intelligent species with it. Da, 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 da. So basically, the way I read this is that the great filter, he says we must pass the great filter. I read that to me, we must pass the place where we're wondering whether or not there's life uh, on other planets. That's what kind of how I read that. So I guess Elon Musk wants to find life on other planets or thinks there is. I don't know if that's... Anyway, as long as we're talking about Elon Musk and SpaceX... There was this article today. Now, this is interesting. J.P. Morgan creates new team to trade shares of pre-IPO giants, including SpaceX, Robinhood, and Airbnb. The investment bank is launching a new team to connect sellers and buyers in the burgeoning market for private company shares, according to Chris Berth, J.P. Morgan's global head. It says institutional investors, including hedge funds, have asked J.P. Morgan to source stock in private companies, including the Elon Musk-led SpaceX, Airbnb, Robinhood, Planeteer, and even TikTok. Now, who, who does this remind you of, folks? What have I been talking to you about? This is why I keep talking to you about this link to these guys are doing what J.P. Morgan is planning. Now, what do you think is going to happen for the people who have gone on to the platforms like Link2 and they've been able to get access to this private equity? What do you think is going to happen for those people that are sitting there owning that private equity when along comes J.P. Morgan and starts offering what they've been offering? Well, you guessed it. What will happen is the value of what these people on the link to platform are holding will skyrocket. And that's why I keep talking about how huge this opportunity is. And as a reminder, these guys, you can buy this with XRP on their platform. And not only that, you can, uh, they're, uh, they, they are the, the rumor I'm hearing is that these guys are going to come out with, uh, with some new shares of a, a name of some names you might know in blockchain soon. Um, so that right there is, is something to keep your eye on. They, right now on their platform, they've got Ripple, they've got Uphold, but they keep selling out. They're, they'll like be there and then they'll disappear and then they'll load some, get a hold of some more shares or something. So anyway, Link2, they've got Uphold, they've got um, Ripple shares, a few Ripple shares. They keep selling out of that, as you can see in this right here, Active. But anyway, just wanted to make you aware of that. And by the way, I've got a link to them in the description of all my videos if you want to go there. And, and you can also download their app, which is in the Apple Store and on Android. All right. I um, wanted to show you this. This guy goes, wow, now Bahrain will normalize relations with Israel, Trump says. You've got the Middle East that is all, they're all getting together and starting to form peace deals with Israel. Something is afoot, folks. Um, and then finally, I wanted to show you this from XRP Yo-Yo. Many of you have never seen this because you weren't around. But this, as I recall, was put out in 2017. This was dur uh, during the 2017 bull run. The Wall Street Journal put price prediction by 2020 and predicted Ripple at $1,046 in 2020. That's not my prediction. That was a Wall Street forecast. Wall Street XRP forecast for 2020. And that happened, folks. Now, I wanted to finish this up by showing you something. I've, I've been fascinated. I'm going through these unstoppable domains, and I saw one. This is what is fascinating. Once you get these unstoppable domains, you can go and you can put your domains up for sale. This guy got dropgold.crypto. That is a, but the reason this one caught my attention is that he's selling it for only 10 Ethereum, I think that's like a really good deal. So what I'm going to do in this video, and I wanted to tell everybody listening to me, if you're someone who is buying unstoppable domains, and it's in the description of all my videos, by the way, you can click the link and go buy. Uh, if you think, if you can think of, of a good name that you think might be worth something, you can go and buy that, uh, click on the link in my description and go buy them. Now, if you then turn around and put them for sale on unstoppable domains through, um, I believe the company is called OpenSea. Um, yes, this, I've got their website pulled up right in front of my face. Um, 
OpenSea, you can turn around and put them for sale and they let you sell them in, uh, in different denominations. They, most people sell them in Ethereum. Well, when you, you can put them for sale on here. And so what I'm going to do on my channel, since I know a lot of people are buying them, is if you have, I'm not, and, and let me go ahead and give a caveat here. I'm not going to, everybody that sends me something, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to go over it on my channel. But if you, if you have a good enough name and you make me aware of it, I will draw people's, I'm, I'll draw people's attention to it and, and say, here it is that you can go and, and buy it. And so, um, if, if you've got a domain, if you were able to get a domain name that's interesting and will be interesting to my audience, uh, just send me a direct message or an email and I'll, I'll, uh, show it, but it's got to be a good one. I, and I, and I can't respond to everybody. So I'm just telling you that I thought that would be a fun little thing to do. And you, it might help you sell something you got for sale, but this one right here, I thought was a pretty cool deal. I'll put a link to, to this drop gold dot crypto in here. He's only asking 10 Ethereum. That's not that much for that domain name. I don't think I'll put that link in the description of this video as well. I am the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family that this guy is selling dropgold.crypto. And remember, for those of you that don't know, that drop gold is the marketing term that Grayscale came up with for marketing Bitcoin. It was the drop gold campaign. That's why I think that one right there might be really valuable. Thank you for listening. Have a good weekend. Every day, billions of people around the world are mocked, ridiculed, laughed at, and embarrassed by their friends, family, and even strangers. These people go through their days knowing there are secrets being kept from them. They hear the faint whispers behind closed doors. The information and knowledge is held very close and only shared with others who were fortunate enough to find out. Feeling lost, rejected, and ostracized, these people give up never finding out what digital assets the digital asset investor holds. But there is hope. Join the free digital asset investor email newsletter and find out what digital assets he owns each month, including investments he's considering. Click the link in the description of this video or go to digitalassetinvestornewsletter.com. Put an end to your days of gloom and depression. Join the greatest free digital asset email newsletter ever created.